Hi, I'm Rebecca Hungerford and I've been pewter smith for 39 years. Today I'm going to show you how I cast my pewter. Um, I'm going to make some of my animal hooks today. In order to create the molds, I first sketch out what I want to make and then I build up layers. I cut it out of pewter and build up layers of pewter and do all the engraving detail on each of my prototypes. Then I put my prototypes within two sections of a rubber, unvulcanized rubber mold, and under heat and pressure, it cures the rubber around the prototypes and it makes a permanent cavity. So here is my bear and turtle mold, and that's what I'm going to cast today. There are pall nuts in the mold. Um, they go in as part of the vulcanizing process, and their purpose is to keep the two sections from slipping apart when it's rotating in my casting machine. So I take my mold, put it within my casting machine, place that on top. There's a center entry, and that's where the pewter will enter. When I close the lid, air pressure in the line will clamp the mold together. It will automatically begin to rotate, and it takes only 30 seconds to go from liquid to solid again, and then I'll open it and, and release my uh, castings. This is my molten pewter. I pour it into a ladle that has bottom entry, so I get clean pewter from the bottom of my um, ladle. Pour it down. It takes about a pound to fill that mold. Now it's going to rotate for 30 seconds. This is the way I buy my pewter in ingot form. It's all the same alloy as my sheet stock, so I can melt down whatever scrap I have as well. And I just melt it down in an electric crucible. Now, see this done rotating. There it is. Now you can see how nicely it's picked up all the detail. And I'll pop it out. 